An upbeat industry which had found new confidence was willing to set itself unabashedly. The year in fact began with one such big birthday bash. The Confederation of Indian Industry celebrated its 100th year with a huge gathering of industry captains and world leaders in Calcutta. The presence of the Indian Prime Minister along with the Singapore Prime Minister underlined the significance of Indian economic achievements. It's been a program where there has been a lot of mutual learning, a lot of networking, establishing of contacts, exchange of information, both in the, within the domestic uh, players in the industry and with the international players. They have talked about current state of technology, investments, mutual interest in coming to India and that is why I believe it's been a working mini Davos rather than a bash or any such thing. What gave the CII celebrations a special meaning was also the endorsement of global investment by the state's left front government. The aggressive selling of West Bengal by the Chief Minister, Mr. Jyoti Boshu, and the WBIDC Chairman, Mr. Somnath Chatterjee, served as proof that the need to woo foreign investment was now accepted across the entire political spectrum of the country. We are uh, going to uh, have time-bound uh, appraisal of the schemes. We're inviting people to come here, put us to test, let us try to do it. You don't have to go from one place to another. In a, within one month, I'll tell you whether I can do it or cannot do it. We are having at the highest, topmost level appraisal of the proposals that are coming in this office. They are sitting every day and we are monitoring every week what progress is being made. And throughout the year, dignitaries visiting the country made it a point to address the industry forums. Nobel Prize winner and President of South Africa, Nelson Mandela, came as much to strengthen bilateral ties as to woo the Indian industry. The South African government and business community are eager to reach out to you, our Indian counterparts, to engage in mutually beneficial trade the promotion of investment, cooperation in the field of technology, technology transfer and tourism. The U.S. Commerce Secretary Ron Brown made it a point to address an open forum in a bid to convince his Indian hosts of the importance that the USA lay on trade and business ties between the two countries. We believe that it is in the interest of the people of the United States of America uh, and the people of India uh, we are all inextricably tied together uh, in, this, uh, in this global economy. India, a country of, uh, of 900 million people uh, that uh, in the early part of the 20th century, 21st century, will uh, uh, surpass uh, uh, China in population, uh, is a country of tremendous potential. But these visits were not confined to present or former heads of governments. In fact, the new WTO chief, Renato Ruggerio, as well as the top CEOs of the Fortune 500 companies, eagerly came to India to explore firsthand the new opportunities the country's liberalization program offered. India has firmly engaged itself in the liberalization process. And certainly there has been some important achievements. Uh, in, in the average between 92 and 94, Indian exports have grown 10% and imports by 8%. And imports too are benefiting to the, to the development of this country. 